I've done a lot of research on some stocks. I'm still doing research on it. One thing I'm starting to realize is I'm starting to believe that stocks might be one of my purposes <clears throat> because I'm the type of guy <clears throat> because I'm the type of person that likes to analyze things and, and um, like break things down to the science of like oh even a mill like a mill could be the same thing as a stock like i could have like five mills and i'm like if i just put a little bit more here here that's an extra mill or i could do it in a week's time like how many mills or how much money would i save going to a vending machine at my job versus buying a pack of pop or something like that that's just one of them things that i love to do it whether it's with money or whether it's with anything, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person I like to break down things and try to figure out ways and make extra ways or extra out of it or whatever. That's how I know that I think stocks might be something that I should start doing. Anyways, there's so many ways of learning stocks. People got it just one way, like you buy a stock and that's it. Or what's the right stock and you pick it and that's it. It don't work that way. You know, you got to take in consideration of when a stock market opens every day, wh when are they usually at their highest or at their lowest? It could be like 12 o'clock later on at the end. Also, you have some stocks that you buy and then you sell. Maybe you sell that same day or some you buy and then you sell within a week time or some stocks like Planet Fitness. You buy around July, you look at the chart and you say, OK, almost every July, Plan Planet Fitness goes down, right? And almost every December, January it goes up to its highest, right? Let's say a stock like that. What you would do in that situation is if you just buy it and sit on it, it's no point. It's just going to keep going up and down, right? So in a situation like that, what you could do is you could buy a whole bunch of that stock in July or whenever you think it's going down by looking at the chart. You know what I mean? Because the chart is like a week, a month, or a year, right? Let's say you looked at it for the five-year chart and you see every year it goes down in July, right? So you buy the Planet Fitness in July and you're hoping, it's no guarantee, but you're hoping in December that shit will shoot up. Then you sell it, right? Then you uh, do it again when it comes back to July again. You don't sit on it because you're just going to go up and down and it's not going to fucking matter. You get what I'm saying? So like, and then you got some stocks like Amazon that just keeps climbing up. You just look at the chart and you say, okay, that shit, it might go up and down a little bit, but it's still climbing. You see what I'm saying? Ignore the fact that it goes up and down a little bit. As long as it's still coming, you want to see the, uh, the, um, the root of it, not necessarily, oh, it's going up and down. If you look at it that way, you're going to be confused because it's going to be going up and down a lot. You know what I mean? So you got to look at the chart like, okay, I see the diagram going up mainly. So let me get in this shit right now before it's too late. Or you could just say, fuck it, it's too late and try to find something else that is on the rise. You know what I mean? Like that. Sometimes you don't have to buy shares. Sometimes you can just put some money into it. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing people don't realize. And then some people think, oh, well, the more the more I have, the more I'm going to make off of it. Not necessarily because maybe you bought 30 share at a higher price and then somebody else might have waited and bought their one share at a way cheaper price than yours. And then they're going to profit more if it goes up to a certain point. It's all about numbers and it's all about when should you buy it and why should you buy it are you looking for long term are you some stocks are long term some stocks are short term some stocks are medium term it's not the same though you can't go by it's just one set way all you got to do is look at the diagram and try to figure out try to predict where is this stock going you know what i mean like bitcoin it's like 30 it's like 40,000 a stock right now well it might have dropped a little bit overnight see that so like say you got a uh, uh, 100,000 stocks of bitcoin you probably lost a lot of money last night because it just went down but guess what it might just go back up again you see what i'm saying but something like bitcoin you probably would have wanted to be in it way before ahead of time now it might be a little too late but you can still put like a thousand in it or something you don't have to buy a thirty thousand dollar stock 
Just put like a thousand dollars in Bitcoin or something or whatever you feel that you feel like you um want to risk. Maybe you want to put two thousand. Maybe you just want to put a hundred. They won't let me put more into it unless I buy the stock. I put it at 40. Now I was like, oh, shit, I should have put in more. But now the motherfucker won't let me do it. But at least I got $40 in the motherfucker. I wish I would have known that they weren't going to let me do it again. So if you're watching this and you think about Bitcoin, put like a 100 or a 1,000 or something in it. And once you do that, they're not going to let you do it no more. You're going to have to buy the whole fucking, you're going to have to buy a stock. You know, and that's going to be like 30000 which I'm not, I don't have the balls to risk. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I wish I did have the balls to risk that shit, but I don't. And it's stupid that I don't because shit, I could probably make 20,000 just off that alone. Then again, you could lose money too, though. See what I'm saying? I prefer, though, this is what I prefer. I'm looking, I'm trying to get into stocks that I'm not worried about getting money off the stock, like immediately. I just want stocks that are gonna keep growing. I don't want to deal with the sale, like I said, the Planet Fitness, buy it in July and then sell it in um, um, December. You can make a profit off of that. If you own, if you buy a lot of stocks in July, say you bought a thousand of them and let's say like the profit is like, I don't know, a hundred dollars or something. You can make a lot every year off of that stock, but I, you selling it too. And another thing about it, if you sell your stock within a year, you got to pay like 20% of some type of tax. But if you hold on to the stock after that year, you don't pay that 20% or something. So that's something you, else you got to think about. That's why I feel like the best thing to do is to get the stocks that just keep climbing, like the Amazons and even Best Buy seems like it's climbing. I looked at Best Buy the other day and it was like 50 something. Yeah, it went up and down a lot. But overall, it's still climbing up. It's like at 100 and something now. Yeah, it might go down a little bit, but it's going to come back up. According to the graph, it's looking like it's getting bigger and bigger. So I should have bought some Amazon or some um, Best Buy stock a couple years ago. But I didn't understand stock as much as I do now. So I think for y'all, you know, I wouldn't worry about trying to get money right away off of stock. I would just look for a stock that's going to, in the long term, like you put your money in and now you look at it 10 years from now, you've made a good profit. Phone's too hot, so I got to move it from the damn thing, of course. But uh, yeah, man, there's a lot of ways you could do this shit, man. It really ain't as technical as people think. But some people make a living off this shit. That's why you see them motherfuckers with them laptops sitting at the damn place drinking coffee and shit. That's their job now. Because they need to be, a lot of, some stocks, you got to be right there at the right time to sell that shit. Right then. As soon as you see it drop, or or maybe they buying it. Maybe they not selling it. Maybe they buying it. As soon as they see it low, like, damn, but they buy it or whatever. Who knows? There's different ways to do this shit, dog. There's no one way to do this shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. But, uh, yeah, I think the best thing for people to do is get stocks that are going to keep growing. Not that up and down shit. They all go up and down. But the overall graph is going up, just like Bitcoin. Overall graph is going up, right? I'm going to explain this shit one more time. So Bitcoin today, maybe at 12 o'clock, could be 35,000 stock, right? By 4 o'clock, it could drop down to 30. But then it could go back up again or whatever. But overall, and then in a month later, Bitcoin could be up to 40-something. See what I'm saying? Ignore that up and down shit constantly. Pay, pay more attention to if that motherfucker is gradually going up over time. Fuck that little up and down shit unless you're going to be buying and selling every fucking day. And I suggest you not to do that because you got to pay taxes on this shit. Which makes me kind of wonder, I thought about the other day, another reason why I would just rather deal with the stocks that goes up over time. Because like, if you buying and selling constantly, you uh got to pay taxes on that and you don't get excluded for the 20% like I've already said. So are you really making money sometimes? Like say you made a little profit, you sell it real quick. You got to pay taxes on that too. I don't like that. I'd rather just wait over time. You know what I mean? And then in the end, like, all right, I'm about to cash out. This stock seems like it's about to drop. Let me hurry up and cash out. Like say you had a stock for 20 years and it's starting to just dwindle out. You're like, all right, let me just get rid of this shit now. You know what I mean? Time to cash out. Then you pay tax on it that way, but you already made your profit and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just better that way. You got to keep in mind, you got to pay taxes on these motherfuckers. They don't tax you to buy it, but they tax you to sell it. That's kind of weird. You would think they would tax you to buy the shit too, but they don't. I don't think so. I don't know. Something I got to investigate. 
or learn, you know what I mean? But I think we all could do this shit. Just take time. Don't just play with money. You got the risk right now. Don't don't put a bunch in it right now until you understand it more. And, and uh, pay attention to what stocks people say are about to uh, blow. A lot of times they're right. You know, I ignored a few of them like, ah, man, that shit ain't going to do nothing. I should have listened because here's another thing before I go. Let's say you hear, let's say Lamarck hears this stock's about to blow. You know what I mean? And he puts like, let's say he puts 10000 in. Even if that stock does start going down, right? He could always take his money out and get most of his money back. Yeah, he's going to pay. He's going to pay taxes on it and all that. But let's just say it was a mistake. He still can get most of his money back. Or let's say it wasn't a mistake. He put 10000 and now that motherfucker growing up, growing and growing and growing. So even if you put in a stock, and it's a mistake. You can always get most of your money back. You know what I mean? I'm in a situation with one of my stocks. It was a, a milk Dean's food. I guess they falling off. I only put a hundred in it, but I lost like 92. And if I sell it, I'm going to lose that $92. And I got to pay tax on that motherfucker, right? But the reason why I bought that shit is because I seen back in like 2016, it was like, three dollars or four dollars it went up to four three or four dollars and when i bought it, it was like a dollar so if that shit goes back up eventually one day then i'll be good but i'm not going to sell it hoping that it eventually go back up one day might take a couple years so this ain't no always oh it's going to happen overnight let me pick the right stock and it happens overnight it don't always happen that way it might not ever go up again and if it don't then i'll just leave it alone fuck it i'd rather take the 92 dollar loss and and chance it going up and may making a whole a whole a big profit off of it versus just selling it now and just losing that ninety two dollars. What's the worst that could happen? I'm already down to the ninety two. It can't get no worse than that. But it can go back up eventually, like it did before in two thousand sixteen. You know what I mean? Like I thought it was going to do in the first place. So that shit happens a lot of times, man. You know it is what it is, man. No way. To, there's more than one way to skin this motherfucking cat, man. So. And, and the shit I'm saying, I'm sure there's more ways than what I explained to y'all. You know, this is just some of the shit I, I've learned over the time of, of research or shit. But I, on another note, I'm out this motherfucker. And as far as that Bitcoin shit, you don't got to buy a share. You could buy a percentage of it. I was just, I thought that I could come back again and buy more. Nah, you do it once and they're they not going to let you do it no more. So if you got like 500 to blow or something like that, just put it in Bitcoin. See what happens. Leave it alone. And the worst that could happen, it don't do nothing. You get, you get your money out. You draw, you sell it, get your money back. But what if it does grow? What if in 10 years you make 5000 off that 500 I'm just saying. I'm out this motherfucker, man.